కృష్ణ రివీల్డ్ రాజ్ యోగా టు ఉద్ధవ అండ్ ఉద్ధవ ఫుల్లీ అండర్స్టుడ్ ఇట్ బోత్ కృష్ణ అండ్ ఉద్ధవ హ్యాడ్ ద సేమ్ సెల్ఫ్ రియలైజేషన్ సెల్ఫ్ రియలైజేషన్ మీన్స్ టు రియలైజ్ దట్ వన్స్ సెల్ఫ్ ఈజ్ బ్రహ్మన్ బ్రహ్మన్ ఈజ్ ద క్రియేటర్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ యూనివర్స్ అండ్ ఐ యామ్ బ్రహ్మన్ so there was the realization that i am the creator the sustainer and the destroyer of this universe now uddhava had become krishna just hearing raja yoga from krishna uddhava had become krishna once a cow herd becomes king his function as a cow herd ceases what is the meaning of the statement that uddhava became krishna iron had become gold the seeker became brahman all of the power of brahman was now being held by him the seeker had become brahman the whole universe is he himself he became the water pervading the entire world he became the light in the universe he is the wind animating the entire universe he became the all pervading space that holds within itself so many vast universes he is the consciousness of perception the power of knowledge the quality of knowing the life energy itself he has become all of this he is that aloneness which remains as peaceful existence after the disappearance of the world of five elements which became tired after its multifaceted interplay in all he holds all of the power of brahman thus the seeker has become brahman just by hearing the raja yoga from krishna uddhava has become krishna the seeker has become brahman and hence all the power of brahman became the power of the seeker by mixing together and uniting all the activities of the universe he has alone being doing all the functions of the universe and now he is alone doing bhajan to himself the proof of devotion is known the benefit of spirituality is known and also fully known are its fruits when one is truly free devotion after liberation is the behavior of such a liberated one to live as a devotee is to live in unity with god Uddhava understood this fact he was overjoyed to live as a devotee is to live in the unity with god when one is truly free devotion after liberation is the behavior of such a liberated one devotion after liberation when a seeker becomes god when a seeker realizes this that he himself is brahman or god then what he will do after liberation is the devotion after liberation he is devoted to himself he sings bhajan to himself now he sees no one other than himself in the entire universe the entire universe is he himself now he is devoted to himself he revels in the happiness of being himself this is the sign of the liberated one he dwells and be blissful in just being himself he speaks about himself he thinks about himself he just be himself and enjoy the bliss of it this is the devotion after liberation devoted to oneself one's true nature his bliss of jiva being shiva new no limits uddhava's bliss of 
the jiva being shiva knew no limits there was the supreme joy of being united with brahman he had become brahman and he wielded the power of brahman he became the all powerful paramatman lord krishna gave him the ornament of being an incarnation of god just as a mother adorns her child with various ornaments or just as a king is crowned and is given royal ornaments as well as power lord krishna gave him the ornament of being an incarnation of god it is not that this boon is not attainable by all but it depends upon the faith of each person if one's faith is that he is brahman then one will get the power as if he is the ruler of all the creator of the whole world one will get the fruit according to one's concept and if one decides that a particular direction is east it will be so to say stay in bondage after attaining freedom is a mistaken concept if one's faith is that he is brahman then one will get the power as if he is the ruler of all and the creator of the whole world so it is not that this boon which the uddhava has attained through krishna is not attainable by all but it depends upon the faith of each person lord krishna had complete faith and knew that he is brahman he is the creator of and the enjoyer of that state only then could he wield that power and only then could he give the power of incarnation to uddhava this siddhi that uddhava attained is really the most mysterious state which cannot be understood by the mind and cannot be appreciated by the intellect everybody interprets and accepts the meaning according to their concept even though one attains the knowledge of brahman and even though the guru has given the knowledge the original defect remains how can one leave the original defect even if one has realized brahman everyone wants to do this or that and they thereby get confused and suffer a loss instead of being in the state and power of brahman they are struck with the sense of being a limited individual a jiva so even though the guru instruct the knowledge of truth many people are confused and get stuck being a jiva with the sense of being a limited individual a jiva remain in that state in which you are naturally are when you attain the state of brahman remain in that state do not accept the sense of being a jiva even after hearing the true knowledge from a guru people continue being stuck in the individual sense so once you know that you are brahman be established in the brahman and do not come down and accept the sense of being a jiva many have realized and many have the experience but everyone experiences according to their concept the state of incarnation however is not known by all the pandits who are well versed in vedas have not known it lord krishna gave that knowledge to uddhava you should also know it and get the benefit of it someone has asked when brahman is realized how are we to enjoy it the answer to that question is devotion after liberation is the power of incarnation of god all is brahman all of the actions in this world are only brahman formerly there was a person the me who was imagined now by listening to the teachings of vedanta that imaginary person is gone he was only a product of imagination yet he was being harassed too much 
that jiva who called himself as i disappeared by the instructions of the guru i and you have both vanished all of this everything without any doubt is only brahman all actions whatever they may be are only brahman the realized one may get up he may walk he may do anything still he is shiva there is no name that applies to inner realization originally it has no name but in order to tell about inner realization we put some name to it it is necessary to give hundreds of thousands of names to express it but that inner joy is as it is unaffected the enjoyment the object of enjoyment and the one who enjoys are all only shiva this is the state of incarnation understand how this is there is a story of a devotee who was accepting the common way of spiritual practice and rituals by going to a temple every day and offering the full meal offerings to the image of shiva shivalingam that is in the temple he then distributed that sacred food to the men and the various pet animals that are near the temple then took some of it to be distributed to his relatives and finally took some for himself this is his daily routine in this way he worshiped daily and offered food to the great god mahadeva once he went to the temple he saw a stranger sitting by the side of the lingam of shiva he was wearing saffron robes and had a long beard and overgrowth of hair on his head and he had a stick in his hand the devotee prostrated before this person and said some prayers according to his knowledge the devotee was sure that the person must have been pleased with the praise and further he was convinced that the person who was so pleased by the prayer must be mahadeva himself therefore he requested that person to accept the meals offered to god that person agreed and took the food as per request of the devotee as the devotee had faith that the person was shiva he did not find it awkward that he was eating so near the lingam and some particles of food were falling outside the dish when the person had finished dining he asked the devotee to collect the remnants of the food without thinking that the food had already been tasted he picked it up the devotee picked it up the person who was in the saffron robes he blessed the devotee saying all your wishes let all your wishes be fulfilled then he said to the devotee now you should go away from here without any further delay accordingly the devotee went home distributing the small amounts of food to others on his way afterwards the person in the temple also went away now what is the difference between this devotee and god god meaning that the person in the saffron robes which the devotee saw that he might be mahadeva himself so the devotee offered the food which he had kept for shiva to that person in the saffron robes thinking that person might be mahadeva himself so what is the difference between this devotee who was chanting and worshiping the shiva and the another person who was in the saffron robe sitting next to shivalinga and accepting the food which was kept for the shivalinga so what is the difference that god that person in the saffron robe was also a human being and the devotee was also a human being and both were male but there is a great difference between the two the inner difference is much farther than the distance between the sky and the nether world if you see ordinarily both are human beings however the self confidence in the man in the temple in the saffron robe is full and total that he is god he is brahman he is not this body he is not just this body and mind he is brahman his conviction is total self confidence is full and total while the self confidence the devotee is incomplete 
the self confidence in one is as complete as in the other it is incomplete the original roots the birth the development and the state of both of them are the same both were human beings both were male both were born brought up almost in the same situations however as there is a lack of self confidence the devotee identified with his body and skin while the man in the temple is fully imbibed with the spirituality intelligence and great wealth of self realization identification or pride means that one takes on the physical consciousness the body consciousness though their true nature is the same there is a great difference one is the mortal jiva of temporary experience and the other is always the complete indestructible total joy brahman this is the effect of the knowledge that is possible through the sadguru's teaching the devotee has to become god the devotee which i who has identified himself with the body and the skin and the mind and the ego has to have the full conviction that he himself is brahman from the teaching of sadguru's teaching after hearing the sadguru's teaching the devotee has to become god so that is the true realization then he will enjoy this ultimate joy of realization then this joy will be experienced by the devotee only when he have this complete conviction that i myself i am god even though that state is attained people are shy to say i am god even after realization people feel very shy how can i say that i am god there are many sages who although fully realized have remained in the idea that they are only seekers i am a seeker i am a devotee i am the most devoted person i want to identify myself as a good seeker with good qualities no have the full conviction that you yourself is god you yourself is brahman when are we going to have this conviction why to feel shy why are we feeling shy to own our original nature we are not telling lies by saying i am god we are just asserting our original nature there is nothing to feel shy we should be feeling ashamed to say that i am just a body mind ego it's a shame on us that we limit ourselves saying that i am just a devotee and there is some distant god which i sing which i am devoted to know accept that you yourself is god do bhajan to yourself only lord krishna said i am god of gods what was the actual difference between those sages and lord krishna those sages who want to just continue as a devotee and do not want to say that they are god and lord krishna what is the difference the difference is the lord krishna is fully convinced that he is god that's all what is the difference between the devotee and the god the god is fully convinced that he is brahman he is brahman she is brahman and the devotee doesn't have the conviction yet his conviction is incomplete he has identified only as a seeker this difference little difference is the difference between the devotee and the god lord rama was sitting with his wife sita seated on his lap and nobody found fault with him shri ram had also passed beyond the state of a seeker and became a siddha he reached the state where consciousness loses its separateness and there is the conviction that the whole world is permeated by me permeated by god and that everything is of the nature of the self that is why he performed all of his actions most naturally and easily so why is this renunciation of actions as well as full performance of actions not possible to be attained by men who have att- who have the attitude of only being seekers lord rama has performed all his actions all his duties as a king in a most natural and easy way why this 
is not possible for those who are seekers who wants to be only in a ashram or in a forest who is not able to perform their daily activities from the state of realization this is because they lack this total conviction the lack of complete self conviction about reality is the cause if that conviction is there then nothing can disturb them they can be wherever they are and see everything as god because god doesn't have any problem with the world the imaginary jiva individual only has problem with the world if one is still identifying oneself as a separate individual entity then they can't perform their actions in a natural way like lord ram shri rama's identification with karma was of the nature of brahman he was established as brahman and from that place and from that view point he performed all his actions not from the point of view as an individual hence he is undisturbed by whatever happens outside and therefore he sat with sita in his lap in front of all people others are not of that caliber shri rama had won won over illusion over maya he said i am god everything takes place according to my will so whom should i fear the illusion overpowers those who are afraid those who are identified those who limited themselves that i am just a body and the mind and i am a seeker i am a devotee the illusion overpowers those who are afraid the illusion was controlled by shri rama he had shifted her from his head to his lap he realized that this maya is my servant all are my devotees all worship me i am the lord of all i do not rise or sit i am always complete and imperishable self conviction should be there with such strength as this lord rama shifted maya from his head to his lap he realized that this maya is my servant because i am brahman the one who pervades the entire universe and the entire universe takes birth in me and dissolves back to me the entire universe takes their energy out of me they are sustained by me they are created by me they are destroyed by me so i am god i am brahman i am truth i am consciousness existence bliss so when we have this full conviction then the maya comes to our lap this maya becomes our servant all are our devotees all worship me i am the lord of all i do not rise or sit i am always complete and imperishable self conviction should be there with such strength as this